In this video, you're going to learn how to align rows or columns inside a Flexbox. So let's start with a row and see how we can align it inside the Flexbox. Aligning a row inside the Flexbox means that you're going to be aligning it vertically. So at the moment, the row stretches vertically inside the Flexbox to occupy the full width available for it inside the Flexbox. And then we aligned our Flex items inside the row using the stretch value given to the Align Items property to make these items stretch inside the row as well. So I'm going to keep the stretch value for Align Items so that we can see the real dimension of or the real height of the row since flex items stretch inside the row and let's go ahead and align the row itself. The property we're going to use is called align content. So instead of ha having two properties align row and align column we're going to use align content just just like we used align items when we were aligning items inside rows or columns. So the default value for align content is stretch, meaning that the row will stretch vertically to occupy all the height available for it inside the flexbox. And this applies to one row, two rows or more. So in this example, we've got two rows and the flexbox is divided to two sections and inside each section the row occupies the full height available. All right, now let's try another value, which is flex start. Now the row is going to be pushed to the top of the flex box. All right, and if you've got two lines, they will both gets pushed to the top of the flex box and the flex items inside those rows are just going to follow the dimensions of the row of those rows because we set the align items property to stretch i'm going to keep it like that just for simplicity okay so again the rows are pushed to the top and they will shrink as much as possible to fit the content of their inner flex items. Now you can also push them to the bottom using flex end or center them using the center value. So now they are centered vertically inside the flex box. Another important value to try is space between. And this one will create spaces between the rows. And you won't have spaces created at the top or at the bottom. To make things clear, let's add more items so that we've got multiple lines. And you can see here that we've got equals, equal spaces between the rows. All right, another value is space around, which is slightly different from space between. It just adds some space at the top and bottom, and that space is going to be half the space that will be created between the lines or between the rows. All right, now if we change the flex direction to column, then Using the align content property, you're going to align columns horizontally across your flex box. So in this scenario, we are creating creating spaces between the columns and on the left hand side and right hand side. All right. And the width of the columns is going to shrink as much as possible to fit the content of the flex items inside it. And then since the flex items stretch inside the columns, they will just stretch 
to occupy the same width inside the columns. Now let's center these columns horizontally inside the flexbox using the center value, like that. Now if I go back to the align items property and I set it to center as well, then this time the flex items won't stretch inside their corresponding columns, but instead they will just occupy as much width as they need to fit their content. Okay? So now let's go back to the stretch value and let's push the columns to the left using flex start or to the right using flex end. All right, now let's go back to the row direction and set the align content property to center. So hopefully this gave you a good understanding of how to align rows or columns inside the flexbox. Now let's go back to the HTML content and just remove the extra items. Now let's have a look at the size of the flex items inside our flexbox. If we reduce the width of the flexbox, then we can see that we're getting some extra lines created, but we get all these extra spaces all the time. Now we need to find a way to resize these flex items so that they become flexible, meaning that you may decide to make them occupy equal widths across the flex box, or you can decide to make one of them flexible while the others keep their minimum width, and that's something you're going to learn in the next video.